Mark Robson was full of praise for West Ham United's under-21s efforts in their 3-0 Premier League International Cup win over Feyenoord. And one man, one man alone, got a hat-trick. Devin Mbama grabbed the headlines for his impressive outing. But it's probably now or never. Roll the title. Good afternoon and welcome back to the West Ham Network for the New Lick News Report, you could call it. Leave your comments in the comments section. Listen, I've got an extremely busy day. I'm not going to have a chance to go through the comments. So please leave them in and have a chin wag with each other. Hit the thumbs up. Of course, if you're new around here, please hit the subscribe button as well. There is an option for membership, so click that option to join the membership. We've got lots of content coming your way, so don't you worry about that. I'll be back later on for the Hammers headlines as well. But today is about, it's now or never for Devin Mubama, um, who scored a hat-trick, and he's on fire for the under-21s and the under-18s. He's a quality, quality striker. A powerful effort on nine minutes was followed by a cool finish and a slotted effort in the second half to take the forward up to five goals in his last three Games. Now, Mubama's personal efforts have been on the up since his first team debut for West Ham in the UEFA Europa Conference League two weeks ago. And the 18-year-old admitted he is still flying from that incredible evening, but refused to take sole recognition on his goal-scoring form. To be that guy who can be relied on to get goals is very, very unique and it seems to be that everything he touches right now is finding the back of the net. He went on and he told West Ham that it's part of my job in the team and it's something I love doing, but without my teammates, there's nothing there. No goals would come for me without my teammates, so I'm thankful to everyone in this group. I think everyone can see after the special night in Bucharest that my confidence is up and I've been trying to maintain my standards. I'm finding the back of the net regular now and I'm enjoying my football long may that continue when over Feyenoord combined the attacking intent shown by the Premier League 2 win over Wolves last Monday and the defensive resilience in the victory against Tottenham Hotspur last Friday and Mubama has picked up as well as Mark Robson with the collective performances that the team has been putting in he said this is really big for the boys this is another great performance and that's now three big performances in a row for us it's good for me today to get the score sheet three times the boys collectively played really well and I was just able to take my chances in this game I think getting those goals comes down to repetition and training even last year and now this season I've been getting my reps in it's something I've been working on and doing almost daily since I was a little kid it's a lot of fun confidence is sky high at the moment and hopefully we can carry that on having kicked on from this first team debut in terrific form he's continuing to push forward but he actually does have his eye on the upcoming fixtures for the under 18s that's because the under 21s follow the senior team in taking a scheduled break during the fifa world cup 2022 in qatar so he is eyeing games for the under 18s league matches and in the fa youth cup he said i've got my eye on the next level but i'm also excited to train and play with the under 18s in the coming weeks We've got the FA Youth Cup coming up next month, which is a big competition, and this will be my last year that I can play in it. So I'm desperate to do well in this group. I can't wait to get back with the boys, working with Kevin Keane and the under-18s. I'm playing with them again. I want to make sure I can enjoy it as much as possible. Listen, Mark Robson, the manager of the under 21, said he's really pleased about Devin. He said, the biggest thing for me is Devin is how hard he works. He went away with the first team, played in the game in Bucharest, and he worked his socks off in that match. He's continued that for us in the under 21s, and he is reaping his rewards for his hard work. I would say that to any player. You get out, you put in. You get out what you put in. He's certainly doing that at the moment, and he's looking like everything he touches is finding the back of the net. Now, people will say to me, Am I getting carried away with another younger player? Quite possibly. But sometimes I think to myself, 
there are, if there's a player there that's in and around the squad, why don't you give them the shot to shine? Surely there's an opportunity for these players to shine, especially when one of them's hitting the back of the net on a regular occurrence. Clubs all over Europe do it, not particularly in Britain, but clubs all over Europe do do it. And Mubama has been in and around the squad for a little while. Listen, I'm giving him the goal against Bucharest. I know officially they didn't. For me, the ball was going on target. It took a deflection, but he is getting that goal on my behalf, absolutely. But is he going to push for a first-team start, first-team action, first-team squad action? We've got Skamaka, we've got Antonio. I tell you what, the boy's breeding confidence. And it doesn't mean if you bring him into the squad selection and give him runouts at the end, it means that Skamaka and Antonio are automatically down the ranks. But it gives us an option, a youthful option. Someone is going to fight for everything who wants to prove his point. What do we know about Devin? No, born in East London. He joined West Ham as an eight-year-old boy from St. Bonaventure School in Newham, a school I know really well because my dad actually went to the school as well. He was originally a left back, but it became apparent that he loved scoring goals and he was quickly transitioned into a striker. During the 1920 season, he scored 45 goals. You have heard me correct for the suspension of the academy football due to COVID. His form at the time earned him international recognition with England under 15s and 16s. In the 2021 season, as a 16-year-old, Devon was in the under-18s top goal scorer, making 25 appearances and scoring 11 goals, leading to a call-up for the England under-17s. He was awarded with his prefer- first professional contract on his 17th birthday, and in November of that year, he made his first appearance for England under-18s. In the 21-22 season, he became a regular for the under-18s for England, set up 23 appearances, scored 15 goals for West Ham in the under-18s team, and again making his debut for West Ham in the under-23s against Exeter. We won the game 3-2, and Devin assisting a late goal for West Ham. He progressed again, this time featuring regularly for the under-23s, making nine substitute appearances, scoring his first goal in a 5-0 win over Derby County. And of the early stages of the current season, 22-23 season, he's featured regularly in the under-23 setup. And he was rewarded with that hard work when Moyes selected him on several occasions throughout pre-season to feature with the first team, which led to that night in Bucharest several weeks ago when he made his first team debut and scored a goal. Yes, I am awarding him the goal against them as West Ham run out 3-0 winners. Now, it's an opportunity here. It doesn't mean he's coming in and he's taking over the mantle. I'm not getting carried away here, but he is extremely competitive. If you look at his goals and look at the, what he can do and what um, strengths he has in the game, he is a strong young lad. He can skip by a defender very quickly and he's not scared to shoot. So it's one for the future. Again, like I said, I'm not saying he's the direct answer for West Ham, but I think he's an option and an option that could really pay dividends to us. And it's about time for me personally that we start to see the odd academy player come through. We're disappointed by the the potential treatment of Harrison Ashby. We're disappointed by some of the potential treatment of you see Alessi leaving the club and and Sonny Perkins leaving the club. And it's, it's a hard one to, it's a tough pill to swallow, it really is. But the situation is, and I keep going back to it, if you're a young player and you want to make a career of football, how do you get a career from football? Is it worthwhile hanging about the benches, hanging about the substitute benches when you're 22, 23, not getting games under your belt, not progressing through the ranks? Then do you really blame them? Do you really blame them? Now, we've got Sufal, Ben Johnson, and Tilo Kira, and then you've got then you've got Harrison Ashby. So are people then saying he needs to catapult into the first team? I think he should be playing a little bit more game time. If we want to think of the future, then these are the sort of players we need to think of having in the the, the squad and in the team a little bit more. Maybe we don't play. Maybe we start to look at the kind of next stage of their development. That's why I think Ashby is someone who would be disappointed to leave. As I thought, about Sonny Perkins, but these guys want career, so we can't really look bad or down upon them. And equally, though, West Ham are in a run, and, and, and most of these clubs are in the same situation as well. When the, the, the money has taken over so much that young players are finding it tougher and tougher to break through, and you have to be exceptional. And I mean exceptional. I'm talking Declan Rice exceptional. So I, for me, with Devin, it's now or never. It really is now or never. He's firing on all cylinders. He's looking confident. He's been around in and around the first team squad. He needs to get his chance, in my honest, humble opinion, now, sooner rather than.
than later. That's where I'm at with Devin Mubama. What do you think? Leave the comments in the comments section as well. Mark Robson, like I said, full of praise for him. And obviously, you know, West Ham under 21s have been on a bit of resurgence since losing a lot of their games at the start of the season. Um, but that concludes their 2022 um, year uh, because obviously, like I said, they break for the World Cup, but they have won three consecutive games in all competitions, scoring seven goals and just conceding one in the same period. And he went on and he said that all these players are, are fighting for the West Ham shirt and are showing their capabilities on the day. On top of that, Mark Robson gave a lot of young players their debuts. Dan Reage, uh, San Tarima and the goalkeeper Mason Terry, um, which also fed through for the younger players for the academy. But like I said, Mubama probably stole the limelight by scoring a hat-trick. And if you haven't, go check on the YouTube channel. On their YouTube channel, West Ham's YouTube channel, you'll see the highlights of the game. You'll see the quality of the goal that he scored. Academy producing Mubama pushing. There you go. Russell will love that one, won't he? Academy producing Mubama shines. Um, and he's the hat-trick hero as well. Like I said, if you're new around here, please leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, please hit the thumbs up. If you're interested in becoming a channel member, please do that. And we like to thank all the channel members as well. Take it easy. Join me at Hamas Headlines. Come on, you irons.